Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we are back with another Funko Pop mystery box unboxing. And this time we are going back to Pop's Outlet who we have had some pretty decent luck on some Pop. We've done some different exclusive mystery boxes with them before. Definitely got some good stuff. Uh, so now we're back as we have another mystery box that came out right after Thanksgiving for Black Friday. We actually got it right before we went on our trip. So I didn't get a chance to unbox it, but now that we're back, I'm unboxing it here. I actually have some other mystery boxes that came in too around that time. So I definitely am going to be getting to those ones in another video. But I'm definitely excited to go ahead and open up this Pops Outlet mystery box. So you guys can check out PopsOutlet.com if you want. They have always sell some like new exclusives. They have a lot of those international ones before they come out. So if you want to get a pop that you don't mind getting the special edition sticker, go ahead and grab it from Pops Outlet. They have some pretty decent pricing. I actually was able to get some of uh, the NYCC exclusives early because of Pops Outlet. So always an awesome place to get some uh, to get some Funko Pops at. Uh, but let's go ahead. We have these two mystery boxes right here. That one pop up. I believe it's just one pop in each one. Uh, I believe it was twenty dollars per mystery box, uh, which isn't too bad, especially since you'll be getting some great exclusives with some good value. And so here's a photo of a lot of the stuff that you can have. I do actually have a good amount of these, or just order them already. So hopefully I don't get like Carnage, or hopefully I don't get Zero and Duck Card or the Spider-Man Doppelganger, or just like some of those other ones like the Inosake from um, Demon Slayer, the lounging one, because I just picked that one up too. But maybe I can find out some other ones. I do see some signed pops in there too. That would be really cool. Maybe a chase. Uh, maybe the Spider Girl chase. That would be really awesome. So we'll see what we can pick up here out of these mystery boxes. But before we jump into it, if you guys can, go down below and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on the video. It only takes a second for you, to, for you guys to do that. Helps us out tremendously. We very much appreciate it. So let's see, which box should I open up first? Let me see if one weighs more than the other. Kind of feels like this one's a little bit heavier, so I guess we'll go with this one first. So let's go ahead and pop this open and see what we can get out of it. Like I said, it was $20 each, and then normally it's like 5 or $6 for shipping. Their extra shipping not too bad. Um, so yeah, it ends up being as long as you're getting a pop that's like worth $25, $26, you're coming out. You're coming out ahead. And all right, so now when they ship, I don't remember if they do it in protectors or not, but it looks like it is wrapped in bubble wrap. So let me go ahead and take that out here. And uh, it does not look like, it does not feel like it's in a protector. You guys might be seeing it. I don't see it, but let's see what we got. And it is, oh, the metallic Vegito from Dragon Ball Z. Now I think this one is a GameStop exclusive. I I believe it's going to GameStop, but definitely a cool looking pop here. I don't really collect Dragon Ball Z pops, but still a pretty cool one. We'll go ahead and check the value of these pops at the end to see what we got truly got the value. But I think this is worth in the $20, $25 range. So decent pop to grab, but not one that I'm gonna really have in our collection. And now let's go ahead and open up box number two and see what we've got with this. Hopefully it's a little bit better luck than the first one with getting something that we actually want to keep in the collection. Uh, this one likely will, might, might go up on a, on a future whatnot stream that we have. Give someone else the chance to grab it if they want because I don't, I don't know if it was released quite yet. I know it was on pre-order for a while. Um, I'm not sure when that's coming out, but it looks like they got it. Uh, over at Pops Outlet. All right, here's our second one here, also in bubble wrap, which is good. And I do not, yeah, no protector on this one either. I guess they won't send protectors. Ooh, I kind of feel something in the corner. Hopefully that is uh, not any damage. But it looks, like I'm trying to feel for a sticker. Yeah, it feels a sticker here. I just feel the one. But let's see what we got. And it is. Oh, it is the black um, jersey, Michael Jordan from the Chicago Bulls. I actually love this. Is this, I don't remember, is this the Fanatics one or is this the Foot Locker one? I don't know. I know they put out the 
pinstripe jersey. I know they're putting out the pinstripe jersey soon at Foot Locker. They put out the Dream Team one. I don't know when this one. When did this come out? Let's see, it, it looks like it was printed in August of this year. So I guess this is an older one. I'm going to have to look that up. Of course, we'll check out uh, the values of it here. But I love this. This is definitely one that's going in my collection for sure. That is awesome because I do have a ton of Michael Jordan pops. Of course, I'm a big sports fan, so I try to collect a lot of the sports pops. And I have six or seven Michael Jordan pops so far. So this is an awesome addition. And I'm really happy with Michael Jordan. We went one for two in terms of one pops that I really wanted for my collection. But we'll go ahead and check out both of these values on Pop Price Guide. And then we'll come back and go over if we ended up coming out ahead. And we are back with the values. And we were able to see now, actually, this Vegito, I know that it didn't really get released quite yet. It's on the GameStop website. I'm not sure if they're shipping it right now or if it actually hit stores. So it actually doesn't have a PPG on it, at least when I looked. Uh, so I guess just for the purpose of the video, we're going to go with what the value of the box was. We'll say it's 20 bucks. Uh, so we'll put down $20 for the purpose of this. Uh, I assume it's probably going to be valued around that just based on some of the other um, variants of Dragon Ball Z Pops. Um, so we'll go with that $20 on Vegito. And then the Chicago Bulls, uh, Michael Jordan, the alternate jersey. And this is the Fanatics exclusive one, but coming with that special edition sticker. But I don't care. I'm still very happy we got it. This one is valued up at $33. So... It looks like if we combine them together, 20 and 33, that's $53. That's right around where we paid with shipping for these two boxes. So we came out even. I'm definitely happy that we were able to get the Michael Jordan one because I don't know if Fanatic still has it on their website. I guess they started to reprint them, but now we're able to get them here. So I'm definitely happy with that going over in my Michael Jordan, my sports collection. But there we have it, guys. This mystery box from Pops Outlet didn't look like it had as many big hitters as they normally do or not necessarily big hitters but more stuff that i was looking for because a lot of stuff i already had some of the hot topic exclusives and i get most of the hot topic exclusives that i want so you know it this one was an a, a great one but hey it's still lucked out with michael jordan uh, hopefully somebody can find a good home for uh vegeto here uh since it won't be staying with me but i do want to hear from you guys what do you think about our mystery box that we picked up today from pops outlet have you guys got mystery box from Pops Outlets? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you can, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like in the video. It just takes a moment. Helps us out a ton. Very much appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.